and there's honestly a lot to unpack there and it, it's just going to take time well rachel thank you so much for joining us uh it's always a, such a pleasure to speak with you you both as well i really always enjoy our time together definitely well before we get into fashion let's talk about some headlines i mean what are your thoughts on the reports that william and harry will never see eye to eye yeah i mean of course i hope that that's not true and that they will be able to come to an amicable reconciliation someday. Anyone with siblings knows that, right? While you might not always like your sibling or agree with them, you will always love them. And I hope that lo their love as brothers can see them through to a point where they can have some sort of healthy relationship. Totally. What do you think it would take for them to get back on track? Well, for a start, I think taking time to have really deep, meaningful conversations about not just the issues of the death to their respective childhoods. It's it's difficult enough to have the air and spare dynamic, especially when there are only two siblings involved and then add into the mix their parents extremely toxic relations so tragically and unexpectedly in their teenage and preteen years and there's honestly a lot to unpack there and it, it's just going to take time and a lot of effort but I do believe it's possible yeah definitely we'll have to wait and see and you know we I'm kind of hopeful I'm hopeful yeah, definitely. We are too. And, you know, I know the Royals have been laying low this summer, but did you have a favorite Royal look of the summer? You know, I thought Megan looked beautiful on her 40th birthday in the all white cream ensemble. And I especially loved the detail of the Constellation Zodiac necklaces she wore by Logan Hollowell, who is based in L.A. Uh, we haven't seen Kate much this summer, uh, especially in the last month as she's been on holiday. but. Her soccer or football, as they call it in the UK, uh, looks, especially those blazers, were great, as was her Wimbledon style. Mm -hmm. um, I always love Kate so much, and Amelia Wickstead, and she wore this gorgeous, if you'll remember, this gorgeous green look by Amelia Wickstead to Wimbledon this summer that I really liked. How would you describe Kate's summer style? Yeah, I would imagine it's quite casual when she is on holiday and she's had a few casual looks that I loved this summer, like that Chloe jacket, kind of that pink, corally Chloe jacket and the jeans at the Natural History Museum back in June. And then, of course, the iconic vaccination photo with those jeans again, same jeans. Um, she made vaccinations look extremely sexy, which is not always easy to do. And um, then at Wimbledon, she always knocks it out of the park with dresses that have a summer flair to them. Generally light colors, breezy. I also loved her, if you'll remember, in that uh, purplish lavender LK Bennett dress when she debuted her big announcement about her research center for early childhood development. I mean, she, she's had a great summer in fashion when we've seen her. She has been largely out of the public eye for the past few couple of months. But when we see her, she always knocks it out of the park. Yeah. What kind of pieces do you think that she'll be bringing into the fall? So I am a huge fan of Kate's coat game. It is iconic. I think it's the best around. I can't wait to see that as the temperatures get a little chillier in the UK and, you know, COVID dependent, if she's able to do engagements with regularity again, I think she'll continue to knock it out of the park. But Kate's coat game in the fall and winter months are unparalleled. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you feel that Megan will be doing more virtual appearances now that her daughter is, you know, hitting around the three month mark? I really hope so. I know they said they were going to take the full paternity and maternity leave that Archwell offers, which I believe is five months. Mm -hmm. But so hopefully we'll begin to see them soon. I've read recently that Harry and Megan are about to enter a new chapter of visibility, which I really hope is true as we've seen them and a half in our, you know, our business at what Megan Moore is reporting on what she wears. And it's hard to do that when we don't see her, but maybe once a season these days, it feels like. But I, I really hope and I and I do think they're about to hit the ground running. I'm hearing rumbles that their podcasts, Archwell Audio is about to come 
in full swing. They've got a lot of Netflix projects that they're going to need to promote. And so I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of them, hopefully, in by the end of the year.